what you're looking at here is three mid-60s Sylvania color tabletop tube sets and I believe these are CB 26 W or CE 26 something like that anyway they're from the mid 60s and it's a 20 inch or 22 inch CRT I believe we'll take a look at that and there's a fairly well-known uh, scene in movies which is the Oval Office when LBJ was president where he had a cabinet with three three sets side by side so he could watch all three networks at the same time and he, those appear to me to be CTC RCA CTC 17s in in the original photo which I'll dump in the video here which would have been RCA's first rectangular set on the market and sorry I'm scanning back and forth here I still don't have a camera with a viewfinder on it so I'm just kinda hoping that I, I show the whole picture anyway I was contacted by a movie production and they are doing a uh, they're doing a scene where they need the three sets the to film basically recreate that Oval Office scene and finding any three sets from the 60's vintage these days that are, that are identical would be practically impossible so I had these and these fit the bill except they're just not the RCA CTC 17 so I pulled them out clean them up a little bit I think I'm gonna pull the chassis they don't need them to work they really don't need TVs to work anymore in films and video because they burn it in later digitally which gives them a lot more options than that and they don't have to deal with the frame rate and the scanning and the flicker and all that other stuff and getting these things to work right so um, yeah, here they are three 1960s Sylvania tube color tabletops and boy tabletops are rare these days finding one of these for sale it's just a tube color tabletop it's just uh, these things are gone they are really really rare these days they're much more rare than a 50s uh, high boy style or any of that stuff so I think I'm gonna pull the chassis out uh, let's get going so let's do a quick overview of each one I still don't have a camera with a viewfinder on it so I can't actually tell what I'm filming so this this is the first one it's in good shape knob is there all the all the knobs are there same thing with this one this one's got some scuffing on the top um, not too worried about that all the knobs are there controlled control doors there same thing here control doors in good shape this one's like a darker walnut color antennas are good on all three they're in good shape these things are in real good shape they're all there nothing broken off they're heavy they're about 110 pounds or so like they are so I'm gonna pull the chassis on them this one the the Sylvania color is missing but it's there on the other ones
All right, let's see what it takes to pull the chassis out. Hopefully I can get just the chassis out and not affect the knobs on the front. I hope the tuner unplugs because uh, they're going to need it to look authentic. Probably take these screws out of the bottom here so it doesn't scratch whatever they set it on like it's doing to me. CE26W. Okay, here's a look inside the first one. And another problem with the camera right now is I have it set in ultra high resolution mode and I have it in manual focus so it's fixed about a meter out so I can't get too close. I would dare to say that this set is new old stock. When I are very very low hour. See how clean everything is? It's got the original Sylvania horizontal output tube. I would venture to say this thing is almost new stock. This is a rare find. And here's the chassis. All original Sylvania tubes. It's got some transistors in it there. Power transformer set. Everything unplugs, the chassis pulls out in about a minute. Two screws, it slides out, everything unplugs, the tuner, the IF, everything. Very nicely made. I want to verify my suspicions here if this thing is new old stock. So we'll put it at around 4 to 5 volts filament and see what we get. That's 5 volts. Yeah, I would say it's very, very low hour to new. That's four and a half volts filament. Okay, here's number two. And I would dare say number two almost checks out as new old stocky as number one. Um, original horizontal output tube, clean, not a lot of dirt on the high voltage. They were in a damp in environment, that's why there's kind of this corrosion-y rust stuff. And you know, none of them work because they all got, uh, they all got the whiskers in these pot assemblies. So the vertical and AGC doesn't work on any of them. Does this one have the, yeah, this one has the same thing where the, the uh, speaker lead is knotted around the degaussing wire. Okay, here's a look at number two. And I know number three is used because we used it in the house when the Mitsubishi took a dump. guess we just got like the eternal ice cream truck music going on here. Four and a half volts. Pretty good shape. 
All right, here's number three. And this one we were using in the house for quite a while. It actually looks pretty clean too. Um, this one I redid the, redid the pot on, painted it. Now let's see what we got here. Well, that's six volts. So you, so you got your choice over here, a background music, background soundtrack, you got your choice. You either got sirens or the ice cream truck. And that siren actually sounds kind of sick. Five volts. Drops like a rock. Look at that. Six volts. Oh, now we got barking dogs from the sirens. So you have three picks. Ice cream truck, barking dogs, or sirens. And they all kind of tie together at some point. All right, well, here they are. The three sets and the th three chassis. Those two over there are like new old stock. This one's got some miles on it, but it was working pretty good. I'm thinking what I might do if I could find some help is I have some consolettes in a wood cabinet or the, that are the same exact set. It's just in a wood, not a metal cabinet. And they had some hours on them. What I might do is I might try and, if I can get some help, pull those out and exchange the CRTs with these CRTs that are in, in here, these new ones. Because I would hate these things to get dropped or bumped or something and bend the shadow mask in them and destroy two new CRTs. That's, uh... There we go with the sirens again. Now what we need is an airplane to fly over. Okay, epic. We have an airplane and we have sirens at the same time. Now all we need are the barking dogs, the low smoke, low voltage smoke alarm chirps, and the ice cream truck. These are fig beetles, and from a distance you could swear that something 60 hertz was arcing. And they are currently eating my fruit. As I pull stuff out of the garage, I'm kind of checking some stuff out, and this, this is a set that I would actually like to restore maybe when I get the new camera uh, at least make a video on it this is a mercury combo and this set was in some pretty well-known TV show or something like that I forget which one it was
just have to break and let this noisy ass crap go by. So I see a lot of these popping up all the time, you know, and nobody ever wants them. No one wants to restore them, and I don't even know if I've seen a video restoring one of these uh, black and white combos. Usually they get turned into wet bars with extra added bonus fish tank. So it's got an AM radio. I rem if I remember right, the picture bulb tested good. Tested real good, like it had been changed. I guess this does 33.7. I don't know if the camera's focusing. 33.7, 33.10, and 12. And thirty and seventy eight. Is that a needle or is that a fish fish hook on the end of that? Anyway. It's actually a record changer. Look at that, the, f the felt is still in really good shape. Made right here in Los Angeles. On off tuning radio phono TV. Not radio TV phono. And fine tuning channels on off contrast. Metal, I mean glass front. That's glass, that's glass too. So anyway, I'm, I'm still working on digging that um, Sylvania out that has the dead CRT so I could switch it with one of the rental sets. Here's an all-tube Admiral Solar Color that I accidentally broke two of these stupid sliders off. I got them. It's another video to take that apart and fix that. Look at this nice deposit right here. Nice termite deposit. And what I don't understand is this has all been re-roofed. And that's that oriented shit board. And I thought they didn't eat that stuff. But I tell you, these things are just so out of control around here. Okay, so as you can see on the right is the tabletop uh, that uh, is going to be rented out, and on the left is a consolette. I guess what what makes it a consolette versus a console probably be that it's a I'm calling it a consolette because it's a 22 UP 22. CRT. It's not a 25 XP or CP or AP or EP or whatever. So it's a smaller CRT. And you can see it's exactly, they're exactly the same set. One's just got a metal cabinet on the outside of it. The other one's got a wood cabinet on the outside of it. Now the Consolette has got a zillion hours on it and a dead CRT so we could do a comparison you can see what a high hour versus a low to no hour set looks like. So the first thing we want to do is face down ass up. Okay now we got some noisy ass bird and sirens today. 
So let's have a look at this one. Well, we could see that the horizontal output tube is not original. I'm going to yank the chassis anyway, but you could see the dirt there on the, around the cap. And um, and now we have an airplane in the background. So I'm not going to waste everybody's time with how dead this thing is. You could see we're at about well, eight volts. And we're just starting to see some move, movement on blue. Ten volts. That's getting into the danger zone. I'm going to pop the filaments kind of thing. There's not much to lose here. So 11 volts, we start to show a little bit of emissions. Look at that. They're almost white. This thing is dead. This CRT is just... I can't believe that people actually watched their TVs until they were in this condition. I wonder if you could see anything on this at all. We, When I put this back together, we should fire it up and see if you could see anything on this. And it doesn't have a brightener on it. Hey, here's the Sylvania with the dead CRT. And all of these tubes look they're all Sylvania originals too. So I wonder if Sylvania was just, well, except the horizontal output and the damper. So I wonder if Sylvania was a really good brand that didn't have many chassis or tube problems, but had, you know, when they ran the life out of the CRT, or if Sylvania's had really crappy short life CRTs. It's always kind of interesting to wonder if maybe Sylvania had really poor quality CRTs that didn't last. All right, there really is nothing to getting one of these things out. Eight screws and it just lifts out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it together all as one piece and just drop it in there. That way I don't have to touch the yoke or the convergence thingy or anything. And um, that one will be the same. I'm just going to pull it out. It's one unit. And uh, switch it. Okay, the same thing here, face down, ass up. Um, look at the difference now that I compare them side by side. Look at the difference from this one to this one. So anyway, it's all the same. It's just in a different cabinet. Same screws in the same place with the same parts. It's like they built the front of the TV back and then just bolted it into different cabinets. So I'll do the same thing here. Convergence, everything. Just yank it out as one chunk. Are those actually wire nuts in there? I guess they are. I go over here. The same three wire nuts with the same piece of tape around it. It's mass manufacturing for you. You just crank it out in chunks and then slap it together. Put it in different cabinets. So the buyer thinks they're getting something special and unique. Well, I got the solid wood grain laminate console with the hard 
wood implements that touch the floor. Oh, I got the solid steel fireproof uh, unit, tabletop unit with the flammable cardboard inserts to keep the top from feeling hot and it melting my candles from the bottom up. So there we go. Dead CRT in metal cabinet for rental TV. Good CRT for reput inside back television metal and console consolet with dead CRT removed. And here's the chassis over here. When this one comes back, we should clean the, do a little experiment. Hook that new CRT up to this chassis after I service the chassis, and then hook the dead CRT up to it. Might be, might make kind of a fun video. Anyway, uh, there you go. It's been going on long enough. We'll do another video when they come home, putting them back together and testing them. And maybe I'll clean the whiskers out of the pots and we'll get them working.